Hi, I'm Nate and you're watching Photo Learningism. If you're new to this channel, this is a place where I try to build a learning community for photography and photo editing. We look at a lot of different tools and ways of getting those things done. Today, I really wanted to get into GIMP again after my last video of dissecting how GIMP had some bumps about being viable as a tool for photographers, but I wanted to get past that thing that bothered me so much about loading raw images off the, off the top Figure out how we can do that, and if GIMP is your thing, let's figure out how to make that work. Let's get to it. Okay, so if you've tried out GIMP fairly recently and you tried to load raw images like I did on first try, what you may have gotten is something like this, where it tells you that you need third-party tools to get it done. That really annoyed me because as a photographer's tool, that should support it out of the box, but we'll get past that. We're going to figure out how to make this work. So I went and looked up these two things, Darktable and Raw Therapy. Had a quick look at each of them. I purposefully did not read too much into either one because I didn't want to taint the experience of setting it up and figuring out is it really just easy to do. It should be intuitive, it should be ready to go on a couple of clicks, and I didn't want to, uh, to get into that process so much. So what I did is I downloaded Darktable first. I did look at both of them. They're essentially these little mini applications that will help you with processing the colorization and to some degree the white balance, which it should be. That, that's a missing component in GIMP, especially if you're gonna load in a, a, a raw image into a photo editing tool. So I can see why they're doing it this way for GIMP. I still think it's the wrong approach because it should be built into the tool like other tools like Krita, but I can see why they're loading it that way to ensure that you get that functionality. So having said that, I'm gonna look at dark table. It was easy to download. I will say that the options made me a little nervous because there was not a good uh, opening introduction of if you want to do this with this tool, uh, this will be the outcome. Because if you go to the web page, I don't know if you noticed, it talks a lot about how you can adjust the color and how you can refine the image and do those, those initial tweaks. It doesn't get into the details of, oh, hey, this will actually load DLLs into GIMP and give you the functionality that you're missing of loading in raw images. That would have been super helpful and super reassuring if somebody like me is just trying to figure out the quick and easy way of doing this. Now, I could have dug deeper, I could have done more homework along the way, probably just searched out some of the things, but again, I was looking for the raw experience, pun intended, of how to get this done. So this was the install components. It didn't really give me any hints as to, yeah, this is gonna happen, as I said. So I went ahead with the install as it was, using default options. That went through, it did take a couple minutes, but it did finish, and I decided, okay, well, I'm gonna fire up GIMP and just see what happens. Go for broke here. And I was very pleased to find out that without any other option selection from myself, the tool will actually get called up from GIMP. So, congratulations. That works out really well. I wish there would be more instruction and an obvious uh, information that this will be the case, that it will be this easy, but I'm glad to see that this is the result. So you get your preloader, you can make your adjustments to what you have if you really want to. The message comes and goes really quickly that you have to close it to get it into the program. So if you miss that, that's what you do, preload it, tweak it if you want to, and then close this window, and after another moment, I don't know if you can see along the bottom, it does the loading process, and into the application it comes. Without the Windows update. So, that's the quick and easy. Uh, overall, it was not that painful to do. Again, I really wish that the instructions were upfront and clear, even just a part of the installer would have made a lot of sense. Just a quick blurb that said, this will be this easy, because that's very reassuring to somebody who's digging into this and may not have uh, the technical savvy that a lot of us do have. So uh, that would be some feedback from me if anybody, uh, everybody's listening on the development team. So 
Again, this is a channel for building a community of learning. This is photo learningism. I do a lot of videos on different tools. Go watch my other videos on YouTube for uh, paint.net, for Krita, for editing pictures and demonstrating technique. Leave some comments. Let me know if any of this resonated with you. If you'd like to see more videos on GIMP and other tools and the other open source tools you'd like to see me demonstrate because I'm really anxious to support open source, but I'm into just about any tool that has value and will give uh, a photographer, in my case, an artist, the experience that's necessary, the, the, the insight that's necessary to perfect our craft. So talk to me, get back to me, and let's continue this journey on together. Come visit me at natesorallo.com. Connect with me on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter. I'm on all the social media platforms. Come and say hi. Thank you so much.